So today we're talking about young people um, understanding about coronavirus and how it's affecting our mental health and affecting our everyday life really. So I am Daisy, I'm 13 and I'm part of the East Sussex Youth Cabinet. I am on the environment campaign team but that's been pushed to one side for now to focus on our stay campaign which is all about the coronavirus and keeping people informed and happy. Hello, my name is Oda Ray and I'm reporting for Make Good Trouble. Um, I'm interviewing young people from the East Sussex um, Youth Cabinet for a series of films about how coronavirus and lockdown is affecting young people. And go check out their Stay um, social media campaign that aims to support young people to stay well, stay home, stay informed and stay sunny. What is your understanding of coronavirus? A disease that attacks the lungs and it affects older people and people with underlying health conditions but anyone can catch it and it affects everyone differently. What have you noticed about how it's affected young people? So I think it's affected young people just because people in abusive families for example can't get away from the violence or poorer people can't get the food that would be provided through free school meals and personally my um, dad is extremely vulnerable like I haven't left my village since the schools broke up I we've still been keeping in contact with my friends and I wanted to ask you as well what has been the, like a positive change um from the lockdown well something positive is that um I've got so much stronger connections with people like where I have stayed in contact with my friends we like talk to each other all the time and also we've been really lucky to get lots of online delivery slots for like supermarkets so we can share those with our neighbours so neighbours that I haven't necessarily spoken to before like it's the highlight of their week, us bringing around their shopping that's come on our delivery. How have you found yourself avoiding the news? Well, like generally the news interests me like quite a lot, but I tend to avoid like the depressing things and like the things that are a bit upsetting. But I know quite a few people that are just entirely avoiding it. But I go through it and pick out the happier things. What do you think will happen when the lockdown is lifted? Do you think life will go back to how it was before or do you think there's going to be some sort of change in society? I think there's definitely going to be some sort of change. It'll take a long time for life to get back to normal, but I think it will eventually. But people will be more grateful for the things they have and more aware of like the things that they could miss out on. Thank you so much for doing the interview with me. Um, it's so lovely to hear from different people about how they're dealing with it. And it sounds like you're doing some really positive things. 